Stone Age Granny. Pepper and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny! <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today I am a caveman. Ooh. Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time <laughs> for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too. Let's gather berries. Yes, yes berries. Mmm, mm. strawberries. Mm. Ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone Agey thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes. yes! Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. Okay. Ho oh, ho. I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> Coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me. Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we carry the mammoth back to our cave. Yes. yes. Lift. Oh, the mammoth is a bit too heavy to carry. Actually, Grandpa Pig, would you mind walking? Who? Oh. Very well. <laughs> the Stone Age people have arrived back at their cave. Hmm. It's going to take ages to dig a cave with little bits of stone. I have an idea. Where's my telephone? Granny, did Stone Age people have telephones? Uh, no. But if they could have had telephones, they would have had telephones. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull speaking. Hello, Mr. Bull. Could you come and dig a big cave for us, please? I'll be right there. Marvellous. Thank you. Stand back, everybody! Mr. Bull has arrived with his digger. Granny, did Stone Age people have diggers? No. But I'm sure if they could have had diggers... They, they would have, have had, had diggers. diggers. There you are! Now we can decorate our cave with paintings. Just like Stone Age people did. I'm painting us chasing a woolly mammoth. I'm painting Granny with a cup of tea on the telephone and Mr Bull with a digger. Oh, exactly how it was in the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 Easter Bunny. Pepper and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. Wait, stop, stop. What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh. When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good. We'll wait. 
purr. But the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. Ruff, ruff. I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a Super Bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes. I would say so. <laughs> right. Are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> we are little bunnies and we love... Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, <coughs> we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus. 
take us for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <laughs> wow. What did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Pepper, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! Be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, Welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah! That was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> Scooters. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this, with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh! No, George! Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good! <laughs> now push off with the other foot, like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> 
Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Vroom, vroom. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Mad and Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you. Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Desert Island! Peppa and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. Uh, can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat? On the sea. OK, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. OK. okay. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Well, there they go. Off on a boat without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. Oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! 
I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No. This is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island! With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea! Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Aye, Aye Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail! All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes! And when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> <laughs> Spiderweb. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho, oh. ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> What is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. 
It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. <coughs> bye bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look! Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Whew. Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. I saw. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side, and this is my side. <laughs> Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <coughs> hmm, I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter, too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> It's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? <laughs> There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it... Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> Horsey. Horsey. <laughs> George likes playing with Horsey. George. It is called Twinkle Toes, not Horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. 
Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho! I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go, go. Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George, she's called Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey. <laughs> I know. Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. 